The day that you tore your ACL in training, I was actually around and I saw your reaction right after you received the news. I could see that it hit you pretty hard. What were you thinking? It's like a storm, you know, that you're in a beautiful day and then all of a sudden it hits you. And I'm a, a guy that is always 100, 100, 100, 100. And that, at that moment I feel, I felt the, not the pain, but I felt that, you know, the train had stopped. And I felt like I'm always in control of my body, always in control of things around myself. And I felt vulnerable in that moment because I knew that from that moment on would be a new journey, you know, a new challenge that would challenge me in so many ways. And, you know, that hit me pretty hard. And knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm in a big challenge every day, and that would be my biggest challenge yet. So it was, was hard. It was hard, especially the first couple of days. Um, the first week of surgery, you know, when you look at your leg and you, you remember how hard you train every single day, you know, you get here early than anybody, you go to the gym and you, you work so hard and all of a sudden in one day, it's changed your whole body. You start to learn how to walk. You, you start to learn how to, to contract your own muscles. And two days, three days ago, you were hitting gym, pushing weights and training and playing. So I think, let's say, they chose the wrong guy. The, the devil of the injuries chose the wrong guy because I'm more motivated than I ever been in my career. I'm motivated than, more than my first day I started to play soccer. Because I know I'm going to come back stronger than ever and I'm going to come back faster, stronger and more resilient and more willing to, to prove people wrong and to, to continue to play for, for this club and to represent uh, this United the best way possible. 14 years of being a professional, you've never missed a game for an injury, and this is your biggest, the biggest injury that you've had. How are you dealing with that? I never took more than seven days away from, from the field, ever. Every off-season I take only seven days to recover, and I keep training again, and this is the time that uh, life, God, whatever you want to call, gave me to do it, you know, and I'm learning a lot. I'm learning that how to slow down a little bit, learn a little bit more about myself and other things as well, you know. I went from 100 to zero, and right now I'm about 10, so I have a, a way, way to go, but in the process now to get back to 100 has been challenging me. It's only been two weeks, but it's already challenging me a lot. And I know that every day I'm gonna be stronger and stronger. And the way I'm building myself again up inside me, you know, I, I'm kind of feel invincible after, after that. And I'm sure when it is done, I'm gonna be way better than I was before. So that's what I was gonna ask, is the Felipe that you envision at the end of this recovery, at the end of this journey, What's he gonna be like? So I have a uh, diary that I, I've been r writing, putting my thoughts on since 2006. And uh, I put chapters to every, every other month or year. And I started this new chapter that I call the biggest comeback. You know, I think the biggest comeback is the way I see myself because I know I'm gonna be back stronger than ever. And with the willing and the motivation I'm gonna have when I come back, I think uh, I'm gonna be a much better player, a much better father, a better teammate, and a better husband than I ever been. So, and I'm gonna show everyone that uh, even if they don't like me, you know, if they love me, is this is as I say, I put this personal and I challenge myself this way that I'm gonna show everyone that it's possible to come back and be better than you were before, even with injuries. 
Are there some players, uh, whether it's on this team or from your former teams that you're really leaning on, maybe like a Paul who's going through that right now, or like O'Neal who went through it before, or just anybody else? Yes, I think Paul is being a big helper. I ask him so many questions. Dr. Anunciata is being so reachable. I've been talking to him a lot, and he's done a, an amazing job. And every day I have a question, I can text him, and he answers me right away. Yamil and, and Pipa came to my house a couple of times already to, to see me, to talk, and they knew that I was very sad the first week, and they came to, to cheer me up, to, to help me. Russell has been texting me a lot, you know. Um, all the teammates, to be fair, they, they've been texting me and seeing, they were so happy to, to see me here, you know, that because they know I care so much about them. I care about this team, I care about everyone. And I already asked Ben, hey, I need the black, black uh, T-shirt, the coach stuff, uh, stuff because I'm going to start to, even if he's throwing a ball to the guys, I want to be on the field and I want to be helping everyone. And soon I think you guys are going to be seeing me as a, helping the coach while I'm, I'm doing my rehab as well.